Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In earlier video, we have seen how to create React app using VS Code and then how to deploy that React app to Azure App Services. In this demo, we are going to see how we can create an Angular app using VS Code and then we will deploy it to App Services. So first we need to know that a node is installed on our machine or not. So I am going to type a node in command is version. I have version 18 installed and then I am going to say npm. I want to check that npm is also installed or not. I have 9.5.1 npm. If you do not have, you can go, then you can go to Node.js official site, which is uh, nodejs.org. You can go and download and install Node. It will install also NPM. If you do not have NPM, then go ahead and install NPM also. So now let's go back to our VS code. Now I'm going to run NPM install at Angular CLI. So that command is npm install add at the rate angular CLI. So let me install that. Once the CLI is installed, I'm going to run another command called ng and new. New is for project and project name. So I for project name, I'm going to give that software angular demo. So I'm going to run this command. So it is going to ask few questions about usage of data. I am going to say no, I am not going to do that. Would you like to use Angular routing? Let's do that. So now it is asking about which style sheet format we want to use. So we can select depending upon this one. So I am going with CSS right now. Now it is creating all the folder structure and then installing required packages. And we can see that one folder got created here. My default directory is Surface Demo. And now we can go and cd to our project. And if you see this one, there are folder structure where source is there, where app folder assets and other details are there. TS config. This is type based on type script and other things. So we can see all the details and then if we have seen our earlier video for react react is also project structure and other details is quite common that we have all the details so this is how this project look like right now and if we go inside app and we will see that app.component.html and other things we can see all the details is here we can go in more details and we can see all the details for that after we went into our project folder, I'm going to run another command called ng-serb, which is going to start our web server and then it is going to browse our website. So it is doing that one. It is doing all the bundling and other things. So let's wait for that. You can see that uh, compilation is successful All and Angular Live Development Server is listening on this one. So once we click on this page, we can see that uh, our page in Angular is coming and we can see more details. The title is coming from here. I can go and say that, uh, let me format that one. It will go and update that one. Then also, uh, if we wanted to change anything here, like, like Angular, and Angular material and other things, so we can go and let me remove that. We can see that Angular on Twitter and other things is coming from here. So I'm going to just uh, remove this one so that we can say edit is working. Title is coming, title, so title app is running. So we have seen that. Now let's go and remove some more things so that next step I'm going to remove this all. Pull that I'm removing. And these are the syntax for uh, HTML itself, uh, S2P and other things, we know that this is basic syntax for HTML. So now we can see more details about Angular and other things, which is here that component wise, it is um, 
importing from component and other details as soon as we go in writing the command for that one ng models and other things it is going to start but basically i want to just give that how to create a basic app and deploy to app services so now if we go and see now we can see that update is coming here and this all this removed youtube icon and all this uh, whatever other stuffs was there in that page that is also went out and this is how we edit any application inside angular and we can learn about more about angular and other stuffs but now i'm going to add one file called web.config before i will move ahead so web.config i'm going to add inside src folder let me see that if config and then i'm going to copy the details about which can be interpreted by azure app services server so this is going to say that about what is the static content and whatever mime type and other things and what is the routing rules and other things is there so that is what right now for this web config once we are done with that one we have to go inside angular cli angular.json and then here if we see that what is the build engine happening and other things so we have to set this uh, set is also src and web.config quotes so i'm saving that and then i'm going to stop this one and then I'm going to run one more time to see that after adding web.config it is running fine or not. So it is run it is trying to run. So let's see that. Okay, so our web app is coming. Now I'm going to run another command called ng build, which is going to generate a build for this application. And if we go inside a project folder where we have this project folder and this is our react now it is going to create one folder also now we can see that it is saying that all this folder is generated for build so let's see that here is the distribution folder and this is the all the build is game so now we can go ahead and try to create a web app and deploy we can use existing web app also but i'm going to create a new one for this demo so let me create that i'm going to take the advanced one and put the name software angular demo and let's use a new resource group name which is software angular demo itself i am going to use node 18 version we have seen and windows this so if we see right now before going to that our subscription and inside subscription let me go to that and inside resource group let's see that uh, I do not have something with angular that is what I wanted to show you uh, so let's go back to our visual studio code and app service plan let's keep that angular only right and then I am going to that free one right now I am going to not be using any application inside resources so I am going to skip for now now it is going to create the app now we can see that this web app is created and deploy pop-up is coming and if we go inside that let's see now now we have an rg for that one if we go inside that rg and refresh that one in some time we should be able to see one uh, web app also it is right now not coming here now it came and now with if we browse that one we should be seeing the default web page of azure we can see now we can go and see the deploy and it will ask which folder so i'm going to browse that and i'm going to browse that this is the distribution folder and this is what folder i want to deploy I'm going to say yes let's see in output section 
sometime it gives error so it's okay i'm going to app services now i can see this angular one and see that deploy web app and it will start deploying is saying so we can see some output is coming so let's wait for some time and then we can see that what happens now we can see this uh, deployment is successful now i'm going to browse that website and now we can see that our angular app is deployed to azure app services right this was our earlier so now we can see that so this is how easily we can create a angular app inside visual studio code and deploy from visual studio code to app services later uh, once we test another things we can check in this code to our Azure DevOps and set the CI CD and other things that we have seen how to set up CI CD for .NET Core. We will see some time for React and Angular also. I hope that this video is useful if you are trying to deploy or create any Angular app. Thank you.